Good morning, Chargers. <laughs> Live from Charger Studios. It is Holy Thursday morning. Holy Thursday marks uh, the celebration of the Last Supper and um, in the first ever Eucharist. That is the night that Jesus invited the apostles over, served them bread and wine, and before serving them, he turned that bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. And at each Mass, you hear those important words, This is my body. Do this in memory of me. This is my blood. Do this in memory of me. Those were words spoken at the Last Supper. And, um, and that's what we celebrate as part of our Mass, as we receive the Eucharist. Uh, tomorrow is Good Friday, and that recognizes the day that Jesus died on the cross for us. The ultimate sacrifice and sign of courage and, and love for us. So that's a very, very important day we have coming up tomorrow. Um, Holy Saturday is a day of waiting. And then, um, and then uh, for Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday is the, uh, the, marks obviously the resurrection of Jesus and is the most important feast day of the church. So with all that being said, I invite you to join me in an Our Father this morning as we get ready for these very important days. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Um, thanks so much for also the feedback and all the courage and examples and the routines and quiet spaces that I've that I've heard about. I want to share a few with you right now. Um, I heard from one of our middle school students who actually was inspired by Charger Studios and um, and actually turned his space his basement into his own workspace and is actually picking up some hobbies and working on some things in his basement. Uh, so that was, that was pretty awesome. Um, and I'm not telling everybody that they, that you have to turn your basement into uh, a workspace, but that was a space that, that he found, uh, to be, uh, quiet, comfortable, and he could call it, call his own. Um, so, uh, um, so give it some thought. You know, I know Ms. Cronin has turned, uh, has turned the closets into reading spaces, and uh, uh, so I ask you, and I challenge you to figure out what you what the space is that you find uh, most comfortable, where you can think. Um, so give that some thought over the course of the weekend. Um, also, I wanted to share uh, an example from Gus. Uh, Gus told, sent me his his examples of courage was that he picked up a a snake and a baby chick, right? And uh, and he also was. Um, uh, he also worked his way through the thunderstorm because he knew that it was going to pass. So, Gus, those are great, great uh, examples of courage. And there's no way I was touching that snake. So you have a lot more courage than I do there. there. Um, uh, in the second grade class, uh, they shared, uh, uh, shared some examples of courage where Sophia mentioned that, that her sign of courage was going to be doing her homework without being asked. What a tremendous gift that is. And uh, some of our other classmates said, wow, we're doing the same thing. And that's so, so wonderful. And that's such a gift and, and, and sign of self-discipline. And that helps your parents out and relieve so much stress. Um, uh, you, you know, it may not be the easiest thing to do every day, but, uh, but a great, great habit to get into and just getting to work and, um, and not having to go through the struggle of being begged to do this, this, and this. So, um, uh, and one of the, one of the adjustments of working at home is is um, is obviously finding that independence. And, and Edward actually shared that uh, that his sign of courage was was when when problem when problems with with school are difficult, he continues working through. But it's hard, right? And the, Edward, buddy, that is exactly what we're all going through, right? Like like um, school is hard. And there's a balance of courage, right? You have the, um, the, on one hand, it's it's courageous for you to work and use all the strategies that your teachers are giving you and, and to work out the problems, and that goes across the board. And then you have that, that time in which uh, you have to ask for help, and that's courageous too. 
Um, and it's an adjustment when the teacher's not not right there where you can lift your hand up and, and, and get the support right then and there. So um, so that takes that takes an adjustment. But those are things that, that all of us are going through. And, uh, and keep working hard and stick to it, okay? Um, so, uh, so I pray for you. I pray for you all and, and keep showing courage and, uh, and looking forward to, to hearing about more examples and all that good stuff. Um, now is the time for, uh, uh, to get some charger bucks going. And um, I will ask Miss Cronin that uh, during homework pickup, I will have her lay out some of the things with the, um, that are in the treasure box and uh, your parents can go inside and grab something and, um, and she'll spread them out and all that. So, um, uh, so those would be gifts for you. I apologize. It's, it's, it's not the, the, uh, I'm still waiting for a package from Amazon to, to, uh, reload it, but I uh, will be just fine. Okay. Now it's time to roll the dice. First, I got to turn on the music. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> All right, here we go. I rolled a three right there, okay? Um, I combined some of our uh, charger bucks over here. And I have some of the old school ones sitting in here and uh, some of the newer ones. Um, I do not have them separated but between lower elementary and upper elementary. So uh, I will do three plus three, which is how many? Or three times two? Six. Right? Okay, so here we go. Uh, for confidentiality, I will just be saying the first name and maybe last initial, uh, depending on if we have a lot of those students in, the, in our school. But your first winner. This one was given by Miss Hatfield on December 13th. Congratulations to Lachlan. Lachlan showed cooperation. Nice work, Lachlan. Your next winner. This one was also given by Miss Hatfield. Congratulations, Samaya. Samaya showed cooperation on December 6th. Your third one. This one was given by Miss Hatfield. Jeez, Miss Hatfield, nice work. Um, this one was given to Olivia C. Olivia C. Uh, on September 20th showed kindness. Nice job. All right. Your next one. This one was given by Miss Irish. Congratulations to Sasha. Sasha on September 5th showed kindness. One of the old school charger books. Nice work, Sasha. That was our fourth. Number five. This one was, oop, that's Lachlan. Lachlan would have won again. You must have had a great year. This next one was given by Miss Satara. Congratulations to Bella H. Bella H on September 10th, uh, or no, October 3rd, 10 3, um, showed responsibility. Congratulations, Bella. And one, two, three. Your last winner is. Old school charger butt was given by Miss Mazer on October 8th. Congratulations to Paul. Nice work, Paul. Paul showed kindness. Great job, Paul. All right. Is that six? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, great job, chargers. Here we go. So, um, uh, Thanks so much for joining me today. I know it was a it was a long, long announcement, but uh, um, like I said, during homework pickup, uh, your parents can grab one of your uh, new uh, new toys, and in time, well, uh, hopefully Amazon comes through with with my new box. 
of, of toys as well. Um, Friday folder will be will be sent later today, and uh, uh, I'm I'm still uh, getting around to see some of our students in our Zoom meetings, um, and haven't been too successful so far. But you have my word that uh, that I'll be stopping in uh, to those uh, classroom Zoom meetings very very soon. I look forward to seeing everyone. Uh, we have no school tomorrow or Monday. Um, uh, th thanks again. So over the course of the next few days, your cards are keeping you company. And, uh, and those are so, so special and so important to me. Um, see you Tuesday morning, uh, Chargers. Uh, be, resp be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. Make it a great day.